It's a womb with a view, a unique view of a twin pregnancy. The images were made possible by a recently developed CINE MRI scan used by clinicians at London's Centre for Fetal Care. Dr Marisa taylor Clark says the technology offers new perspectives on dual pregnancies. We hadn't really been able to see before in such real-time complete pictures how twins interact and what this CINE lets us do is see their positions with relation to each other um, and how much space they have, how much space they occupy, how they might move and push each other out of the way. So that's something that, that you can see snapshots of on ultrasound and small parts of it, but you don't get the, whole, the view of the whole room, as it were, the room being the womb. The scan uses a technique known as oversampling, which provides a far more detailed picture than conventional MRIs. What we do differently is much thinner slices of the brain, so the pictures that we take are of much, uh, much, much thinner, just a couple of millimetre thickness regions, and we overlap them. So that means that even if the baby moves, we've oversampled the brain. So when we come back to looking at them, if we want to reconstruct the 3D volume of the brain, we've got extra data, which means we're not missing out any key, key regions. Doctors here use the technique to study twin-to-twin -twin transfusion syndrome, found in twins whose blood supplies are connected. In TTTS, one sibling, called the recipient, takes too much blood from the other, the donor twin, who can suffer stunted growth as a result. Fetal laser surgery can successfully interrupt the blood flow, but in the worst-case scenario, TTTS can cause the death of both twins. Although conventional ultrasound detects the syndrome, MRI scans pinpoint signs of brain injury earlier and in more detail, allowing treatment to be better targeted. First time mother Stephanie undergoes a scan as one of the centre's healthy volunteers. She's expecting a single child in January. How are you doing in there, Stephanie? Fine. Okay, great. The table's just going to move slightly. Despite the striking clarity offered by these scans, Taylor Clark doesn't advocate their use for routine pregnancies like Stephanie's. I think MRI scanning is a very specialised technique and the vast majority of women have healthy pregnancies without any problems and deliver well, healthy babies. And if we were to scan all pregnant women, we would pick up a very, very small number of abnormalities and potentially um, pick up some things that we didn't quite know how to interpret that might be quite stressful for some mothers. The Fetal Centre is seeking further modifications of the CINE MRI technique to help improve the chances of TTTS sufferers and provide an even clearer picture of sibling rivalry.